live here, day three at NAB. This is the Intel Studio Experience booth. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. This is the Cube, our flagship telecast. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise, talk to the thought leaders, uh, executives, entrepreneurs, companies, anyone who has something to share. We're going to extract that and share that with you. Um, Dave Vellante, my co-host. Dave? John, good to see you. Day three here at NAB. Uh, all kinds of stuff going on at this show. It's, uh, it's a really changing ecosystem. It's growing. A lot of cool stuff on the floor that we've seen. Some great guests on and uh, looking forward to another good day with you. Yeah, so let's just wrap up some quick news today, obviously. Um, on the web, obviously, you Facebook and Instagram. Again, it's in, in, the, in the Wall Street Journal talking about how fast that deal went on. I think we pointed to that example of Facebook buying Instagram for a billion dollars here inside the Cube at NAB because, obviously, photography show here where cameras and, and, and images are part of the, <laughs> the landscape, obviously, with video. Instagram essentially sold for a billion dollars. Um, some argue it didn't really create any real tech value. Um, eight kids, 13 total when they got bought can be worth a billion dollars and a company like Kodak, Dave, can be bought for nothing, actually well. going bankrupt. So, <laughs> you know, Kodak solves a lot of photography tech, built a lot of tech, licensed it, and just made blunder after blunder with their business model and is worth zero. It's and amazing. Instagram's worth a billion. So, you know, this highlights the NAB effect that's going on around democratization of media, lower cost equipment, high-end photography, high-end video equipment once, design for motion picture industry and broadcasters is now down to mobile to, mo <laughs> to anyone, right? So anyone with a camera um, can be a producer. It taps unlimited creativity, new solutions hitting the market. So really a phenomenal trend we're seeing in tech, very disruptive. Yeah, so the story that hit the Wall Street Journal this morning was that Zuckerberg essentially did the Instagram deal on his own over the weekend, um, talking to the CEO of Instagram, and then Sunday evening sent an email out to his board saying, hey, basically I'm going to do this deal. Um, now, he didn't do anything wrong. He owns more than 50% of the company. But investors should realize that when Facebook goes public, nothing's going to change. Had Facebook been a, been a public company, this is how the deal could have gone down. So he's got a lot of latitude to make any deal he wants. Well, I think the, the, the moment in history in the tech business was Google's IPO when Larry and Sergey maintained multiple classes of stock to maintain control. And really, it's a trend around founder-led companies. And uh, this was once outlawed in the 20s uh, by the government, now uh, allowing that to happen where you had all this kind of control. Now it's back. So um, people are questioning that. What does that mean for a public company? Um, does it shape the, the public markets, et cetera? So that's interesting to watch. The other thing that I'd say, Dave, is that from an NAB standpoint, mobile is big. And I haven't seen a lot of mobility being discussed in terms of really raw uh, solutions. I'm seeing support for mobile, but not a lot of mobile demonstrations. Um, you're seeing mobile advertising. Obviously, Millennial Media went public this past month. Uh, huge um, deal, independ largest independent mobile advertiser. That's a big deal. And you're seeing Google with Android really come up and, and take a big position in the mobile market. But yeah. to me, still, mobile is so early uh, from an experience standpoint, from a real video broadcasting motion picture um, uh, perspective. Um, it's there with some solutions, but you know, Carriers have to carry the cost for the bandwidth, so that's a big thing. So well, I think in this case, Zuckerberg, you know, saw that he, he had a de it was defensive in a way, right? He saw Instagram was as a th potential threat, especially now with with the Android app coming on, and so he's got to move fast. He, you know, let's face it, Zuckerberg wants to own the world, <laughs> so you got you got to like the speed at which he's making these deals. So, Dave, let me ask you, what is your uh, thoughts on NAB? We're in our third day. We had two days. We had a chance to talk to a lot of people here inside the Intel Studio Experience in the Cube. Uh, we walked the floors. Um, what is your uh, angle on what's happening? Well, I think we've been talking all week about the consumerization of media and the democratization of media more specifically. And, and we're also seeing some amazing tech beyond 3D, beyond HD, beyond surround sound, and much of that we've shown inside this uh, Intel Studio experience. And so I think, John, bringing those technologies to the masses we're on the cusp of an explosion in this whole media business. And I think the big observation for me is the, the infield editing and the support for the kind of equipment that was once regulated for the professionals. And I think that's going to change the game on the business model side of the equation and, and something that is talked about in some certain sessions. But clearly a new, a new generation of, of companies will emerge from this. So I think that's one. The technology is another one. I think the, we're seeing the Insight Deck, which is being showcased here at Intel Studio Experience, where you know, we call that the Epiphany uh, Wall. It's really incredible. So that kind of tech is going to enable more of an experience. So I think ultimately, at the end of the day, is you're going to see a new entrant of players, and I think 
The experience programming is a big deal. Uh, Eric from Show is going to be on again today to give us his perspectives on that. So very, very interesting stuff. Yeah, so um, you're right. He's going to be back. We're going to see from him what is going on at the show. He's, he's scouring the show. He's a consumer of all this technology. And you know, we've seen a lot of innovations in, in, in video and a lot of innovations in audio. And so um, we're going to explore some of that today and uh, bring you all the coverage from NAB Live. from.